everyone welcome back to tasty city and i hope you all are doing great so today on the menu we'll be making cabbage fufu cabbage fufu is a very healthy swallow so if you're on a low carb diet i highly recommend cabbage fufu for you but before we get started if you're new to my channel please there's a red button there that says subscribe please click on it and after that click on the bell sign and when you click on the bell sign please choose the options that says all that way you get all of my notifications without missing out on any of my videos so if you're interested to see how i made this cabbage fufu then please stay tuned and keep watching Okay guys, so for this recipe you will need one whole big um, cabbage just like what you see here Yeah, but if you are a very big um, heavy eater like if you like swallow like no man's business Then <laughs> you will need like one and a half to two um, whole cabbage for this recipe But with this amount of um, cabbage I got um, exactly the amount of fufu you are seeing right here on the screen so to begin this recipe first of all i will cut the cabbage into two and this cabbage has been washed earlier yeah so i already washed this cabbage earlier so i'm just going to cut it into two all right so once that is done i'll cut off this part of the cabbage because we don't need it for this recipe and i'll also take out the first and second layer of the cabbage Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. So make sure you get this thing out. You don't need it for this recipe. So what I'm going to do at this point is just to repeat the same process and then cut the cabbage into smaller chunks, you know, so that the blending process will be more easier. Alright guys, so at this point I'm just going to be adding in some of the um, chopped cabbage into my blender. I will set that aside and then I will continue the um, chopping process. Now you don't have to overload or overfill your blender, you know, in order for the blending process to be more easier for you. So I'm going to continue with the um, cutting process and I'll be back when I'm done. So now that I have all the cabbage cut up, I'm just going to set it aside and then we proceed with the blending process. Alright, so here with me I have a cup of water. I'm just going to be adding in just a little bit of uh, the water to the blender. Yeah, and then I'll set this one aside and then add more if more is needed. Remember cabbage has a lot of water so you don't need to add um, too much water. So now I'm just going to cover this up and blend until it is smooth. Okay, so now that it's perfectly blended, I'll be adding in more cabbage. I'm 
also going to be adding in more water to enable the blending process just to get um, the blades of my blender moving. Okay guys, so this is perfectly smooth and I'm going to be pouring that out in a bit. So here with me I have a bowl and a chiffon cloth. I'm going to be pouring in the blended um, cabbage. I'll lift it up and then press out the excess liquid. Now I'm going to be using this, um, I'm going to be using, should I call it cabbage juice or, <laughs> or water, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to be using this um, liquid to blend the rest of the cabbage. Oh yes, I can see our cabbage fufu. Can you guys see that? Alright, so I'm just going to set that aside. I will blend up the remaining cabbage and then I'll be back. Alright, so we are done with the blending process and the next step is to squeeze out all the liquid in here. So I'm going to be pressing this with my hands just like what you see here until all the liquid is out. Now you can also um, use a heavy object, yeah you can just um, put a heavy object on it but um, this process will take about 20 to 30 minutes but <laughs> I don't have that time because I have another recipe waiting for me so uh, for me this is just a faster way to get out all the liquid you know in less than 10 minutes so I'm just going to continue the pressing um, process I'll continue pressing this until I get out all the excess liquid so this is what we got after taking out all the liquid In here I have some blended oatmeal which I'll be using as my binder for this um, cabbage fufu. So because cabbage is gluten free and has very little or no amount of carbohydrates, we'll be needing something to, you know, bind this up to be able to mold it um, into swallow. Apart from oatmeal, we can also use silen husk or santan gum, but I'll be using oatmeal as my binder for this um, cabbage fufu recipe. Alright guys, so with that being said, now transfer the blended cabbage into the pot and start stirring on a medium heat for about 5 minutes or until it heats up. I've been stirring this for five minutes now on a medium heat and at this point I'll be adding in about two to three tablespoons of the blended um, oatmeal yeah so I didn't measure this I just eyeballed it <laughs> so I'm just going to um, keep on stirring so that the oatmeal and the um, cabbage food can you know come together 
going to be stirring this for additional um, two to three minutes. Okay, so everything has come together and at this point I will add in just a very little amount of water. I'm going to cover this up and allow to cook on a very low heat for at least 5 minutes. Okay guys, so finally our healthy cabbage fufu swallow is ready. <laughs> so I'm just going to be giving it one more final stir and then we'll see the final results. Alright guys, so here comes our cabbage fufu. Our fufu is ready. <laughs> Okay guys, so this um, step of wrapping the fufu with a plastic film is um, totally optional but this is just for, you know, for a good presentation but if you won't be eating yours right away then you can wrap it just the way I'm doing and put it inside your, you know, cooler so that it won't dry out by the time you're ready to eat it. So there you have it guys, our healthy, low carb, gluten free fufu. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of today's video and I hope you all enjoyed spending time with me. I hope you give this cabbage fufu recipe a try. Like I highly recommend this cabbage fufu swallow because it is so, so healthy. So even though you are not on a low carb diet, I highly recommend cabbage fufu swallow. Can you see how it molds easily without sticking to the hands? Yeah. Remember, before you can get this to mold without sticking, you either have to use oatmeal flour, santam gum, or sealing husk. You can use any binder of your choice for this um, cabbage fufu recipe. And I paired this cabbage fufu with my seafood okra soup. Yes, guys, the recipe to this seafood okra soup will be coming up very soon. So please make sure your bell notification is on so you don't miss out on any of my video. And if you like the video, please be sure to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you all so so much for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you all in my next one.